was the best advice ever given to you, David? It can be more than one, and again, personal or professional. Again, it was from my, my mom, okay. basically the golden rule. Treat people the way that you want to be treated. I never heard an intolerant word in my home mm -hmm. growing up. My mother loved all people. She was one of the world's great inclusive, inclusivists, if that is such a word. Well, might you just coined it right but, here. Yeah, I like possibly. that. Possibly. But my mom, uh, she, she raised us to, uh, to treat people with respect. And mm -hmm. I love working with people. And life is about people. And if you can motivate people sure. and help them to be successful. Wendell and I, uh, I'd say that the thing that was probably as helpful in our success as anything else was our love of seeing young people succeed mm -hmm. and our willingness to hire people to do things that we didn't know how to do. Neither of us ever felt like we knew how to do mm -hmm. everything. So when we found something we didn't know how to do, we hired somebody, gave them, uh, tried to create the conditions that allowed them to do their best okay. work. And if they stumbled and fell, like we sometimes did, we'd pick them up. And if they stumbled a too many times, then we found probably another place for them. But basically, people will often rise to your level of, ex level of expectation. And working with people is wonderful. So the more you push them, the more they're motivated? Is that fair? It's not so much as pushing them. It's having a, a, a high level of expectation. Okay. And it's having an agreement on the mission and then not over-managing them, to let them figure out how to contribute to the reaching mm -hmm. of the mission. It's, crisp, I mean, it's terribly important that everybody be on the same page, that they understand what the mission is and how they contribute to its completion. But with that, you don't micromanage them or, or push them. Okay. Uh, you just say, here's where we want to be. And people are endlessly creative.